It's quite difficult for me to stand up here after 42 weeks of pretty much blood, sweat and tears. Um, first thing I'd like to do is thank you for your support. Club in the past couple of years, had a couple of tough times. It's difficult to travel here to Woking every other week um, to create an atmosphere, to not have your own identity, but you've done it, and I thank you for that, and I'm sure the players will thank you for your support throughout the season. That's when the players start clapping. <laughs> <laughs> It is what it is. Phil, that's the fine. I love skin coat. It's been a roller coaster of a season, it must be said. And we've tried. We've tried. It's gone down to the last three minutes of the season. 87 minutes, we were safe. And then. I hate to say, one of the worst decisions I've ever seen in football was made. And it's still, it's still, it's still not fate. But I'd also say that we've had chances to see our fate in a positive way throughout the season. Now, we've had some great players at the club. And the spirit that was shown today against the playoff chasing side showed that testament and attitude and commitment to the Hayes badge. Hayes and Yetman, you know. It's been difficult. You know, the start of the year, fixtures, disruption, etc, etc, losing players, that run of defeats. But what I like to say is they showed their character and their desire by going five unbeaten yeah. after that. That shows a certain type of player and a certain desire. I like the fact the players. I did the dressing room for their efforts. I hope you thank them as well, because they give you some entertainment, some good and some bad, all season. Um, feel free to talk with them. I know they're a shy bunch. And they're all standing by the door because they want to shoot off. Don't let them go. <laughs> Put your arm around them, suck them in for a drink. I would say this. It's a great club. I would thank the chairman for giving me the opportunity to start my career as a manager. It's a learning curve. Learning to handle defeat as well as victory is an important part of life. I will grow from this and I will be a better manager next season than I have been at the start of this season. I'd like to thank all the volunteers at the club for their dedication and hard work behind the scenes. They are a vital part of Monday football. So I'd like to give them a round of applause. I'd like to thank my coaching staff for putting up with me. I'm a little bit weird at times, and so are they. I'm not going to testify on that. Um, but as I said, what we need is unity. Sometimes it takes one step backwards to move two steps forward. And it's happened to other teams and other clubs that have been in our position. And they grow and they consolidate and they become better clubs because the people stick together and that's what we need and it'll be a long summer there's no doubt about that and there'll be a lot of reflection but what we need to do is grow show some support travel to Maidenhead <laughs> <laughs> And we get tighter and we build a club and that's what we're trying to do and that's what the chairman is trying to do. The Charlotte Glass is there, it's waiting for us. When it is finished, when we move back in there, we will be 
a force to be reckoned with. I've got no shadow of a doubt about that. We'll get your players next season. We'll get promoted. There it is. And that's as simple as that. So I thank you for sitting here and listening to me waffle on for five minutes. <laughs> Try and enjoy your evening and your weekend. And hopefully I'll see you again next season. Thank you.